the subject of Selena De La Renta, how do you think she's going to fare as a counterpart to Lita at ringside? Oh, that's uh, that was a original question there. I don't know, bro. She's out there to make a name for herself, and there's a good chance that uh, she may get in Lita's face. I'll try to show her, you know, she's very brash, very brash. See what I'm, I think she's going she's gonna to let her presence be known before the match is over. Can we start? Can we start the match, please? Thank you. <laughs> I think we're waiting for a bell. Pentagon, El Celo, Miedo, and TJ Perkins. TJ is one of those athletes that is fearless in his own right. The very first WWE Cruiserweight Champion under its current incarnation. He won the Cruiserweight Classic, and that encapsulated the best Cruiserweights throughout the entire world a few years back. TJP survived them all. So we know TJP cannot just survive, but thrive with all different styles. Uh oh, she's getting a set of miedo for sure. Taking off the glove first. Will be thrown to the referee. Perfect catch. Yeah. Oh, and TJP, he, he, he stood there and took it like a man. He wasn't ready to back down. And TJP gave it right back to him with a dab on top. Now that's confidence, that's swagger. Wait a minute, Jack just came in. He's going to break dance. Yeah, Jack's going to rewrite the rules. It's can you top this here at the main event of Expo Lucha. He got kicked in the back. Oh, my God. <laughs> this just jump started. Penta with the dance off the cage, just barreling through anybody that gets in his way. Wow, Aguila. This may be the first time Aguila's met the fucking machine. Can I yeah. say that or I just did it? Uh, Vampiro yeah. said about 27 F bombs okay. in every match. So you think we're right. fine. We've broken every rule and standard so far. Why stop now? It's Expo Lucha. Anything can happen. And Cage and Aguila. I, don't with want me. To, I didn't want you to have to add it too much. Well, unfortunately. Too late, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's Climax's problem. Yeah. I'll be at home in Pittsburgh. Right. Aguila in a bad way right now, thanks to Cage and Brawl continues on the outside of TJP and Penta. It's Jack Evans looking for Phoenix at this point. Jack Evans has some uh, swagger in his step. And a guy that, you know, has been like the last 10 years in Mexico uh, doing Lucha oh, Libre. He just stepped on the head of Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah, well, I was talking about it uh, during the entrance. Evan is somebody like TJP who really adapted and adopted the Lucha Libre style and has made it his own, made it a home base for him. Uh, yeah, Jack and TJP, both of them. Brian Cage, all three of them have been influenced by Lucha is Libre. Is TJP going for the mask of Penta? Wow, that would be weird. They don't even have a rivalry to, to speak of. Is he starting one now? Uh, maybe trying to get noticed. DJP sent some big things in Impact Wrestling. He'll be uh, overseas uh, with Jake Cup and New Japan coming up. TJP, his uh, stock continues to rise. Maybe trying to uh, write a ticket for a uh, AAA main event coming up. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, well, we've spoken about talking together. As long as he's with New Japan, I don't think that's going to happen. But as we have already talked. Well, TJ certainly in high demand all over the world. He's highly scouted, really in the best shape I've ever seen him in. I think physically, mentally, TJP, uh, we talked about the Lucha influence. He actually has a Blue Demon tattoo on one of his arms to uh, commemorate that influence. And Jack Evans, a couple of flips for good measure. I don't think TJ completely understands the flipping style of Jack Evans, but they're working together on the double team. They made it work. Is there problems between them? No, I think TJ's just trying to understand. I think TJ realized he couldn't match the multiple revolution of the flip, so right. he just got himself in position the traditional way. And now the blood rushing to the brain of Aguila. And making him think about it, these fans counting along. And we could be here with <laughs> TJP skipping. Oh, man. They're out there having a good time. 
Unless you're Angulo, who almost got pinned. Phoenix wouldn't have gotten in there on time. Aguila, his very first night with Alita in the World Wrestling Federation, he uh, defeated Dwayne Gill Gilbert for the light heavyweight championship. Gill was the longest reigning light heavyweight champion in company history. We'll see if he can replicate that same success tonight, but pretty far from it at this point. And notice TJ's trying to teach Jack now some technical wrestling, and now Jack's out of his element like TJ was a minute ago. That's how Jack understands the surfboard. Right. TJ trying to show you how it's done, and they got where they needed to go. Different strokes, different backgrounds, but they're making it work. And Brian Cage, I don't know what if he knows what to make of this. I have a feeling TJP and Jack were in the indies together back in the day. I think that would make sense, absolutely. TJP from California. I think at one point Evans basing his career out of Washington. Certainly Evans was part of Ring of Honor at one point uh, as uh, TJP was coming up as both himself as well as Puma. Uh, there's really not many places that uh, these athletes haven't been, including the likes of uh, Wrestling Society X and Impact and Ring of Honor. Right. They've really been journeymen the entire way. Penta sent into his brother. Phoenix bails him out. A thrust kick to Brian Cage. Penta takes TJP down. And Aguila getting in the mix. This is really cool, man, to watch the Lucha Brothers and Cage. Aguila, who used to be in WWE as Essa Rios. Yeah. Just the different mixes of, of talent in the same match. And everybody just trying to do the same thing. Entertain. And a triple saddle miedo at a triple dive. No. Penta connected with TJP, but uh, Evans and Cage had moved out of harm's way. And Phoenix and Ese Rios, uh, Mr. Aguila giving chase. And the prowl continues on the floor, trying to knot up the thigh muscle of TJP as Penta. And Selena and Lita just running for cover. Uh, Phoenix and Brian, uh, Phoenix and Brian Cage, old friends, because they basically blew up in the same place, Lucha Underground. Absolutely. That did Pentagon. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, we talked this weekend about uh, a Lucha Underground Mount Rushmore. If you're gonna, gonna yeah. rank those breakout stars, certainly there's a lot on that list you can Who's consider. Yours? Well, I mean, I think you gotta consider Brian Cage. You gotta consider Penta and Phoenix. And I mean, how do you decide between Drago and Aerostar? You gotta give them credit as well. Right. Aguila now, also known as Poppy Chula once upon a time in the WWE. This is who, this is who my um, I know who my Rushmore would be, right? Even yes. though the other stars were made from there. What triple pin here could do it? Near fall. Who would your Mount Rushmore be? Yeah, Pentagon, Phoenix, Brian Cage, and I would even maybe say... Um, even though he hasn't done anything since then, but he was so such a big part of the show. Um, what was the manager's name? The manager? Or the guy, the general manager? Uh, Daniel Cueto. Yeah, Cueto. Yes. And was Selena getting involved? Speaking of managers. Uh-oh. And Lita saw that. And blocking the slap. And Selena gets one of her own. You do not want to mess with Lita. Lita's back. Yeah, People as, love her. As tough as they come, she credits uh, Ricky Santana, Miguel Perez, Kevin Quinn with her lucha start. And great to see her come full circle. TJ with a detonation kick. Takes out Pentagon. And Jack Evans. The exclamation point. Space flying tiger drop. Lucha Brothers neutralized. It is Aguila, center of the ring. Brian Cage, look out, F5. This could do it. TJ Council, no, near fall. Almost. And Jack Evans, icing on the cake. Oh. oh got tripped up. Lita paying dividends again. Pentagon taking advantage of that. Yeah, TJP gets dropped. Brian Cage is dazed. Phoenix, not sure if he got all that spin kick, but he dazed. Brian Cage and Evans gets dropped. All gonna spike him. 
We saw Evans meet this fate a night ago. And Deja Vu comes to the forefront. Lucha Brothers pin Jack Evans win the trios match. Wow, great match. Penta Phoenix. And here Aguilar. are your winners. Penta El Cero Miedo. Great match, great Ray to see Phoenix. Lita. Great to see Selena, and Mr. you know, Aguilar, somebody new to this business. She's been in three, maybe four years at the most and really made a buzz for herself, especially in MLW. Great to see, you know, Mr. Aguila Cerrillo's back with Lita. It has been over 19 years since Mr. Aguila and Lita stood side by side. You gotta go back to the spring of 2000 and their rivalry with China and Eddie Guerrero. Right. And, and we come full circle with Lita and Aguila back together with the two men that embody modern Lucha Libre more than anyone else. What what a great representation for our genre, for our brand, and for Expo Lucha. Battlefield. 